So Trump got his ear pierced. That's cool. That's cool. Listen, I don't support the violence. I don't support the violence. What happened is terrible. But what's going to happen after it is even more terrible. Because now we're going to have to listen to this guy talk about his assassination attempt forever and ever, every time he gets on the mic, man. And he's going to exaggerate it like he does everything. The story will get crazier and crazier. He's going to be like, you saw it, 20 snipers. 20 woke snipers. Shot me right in the face. Point blank range with a bazooka. Blew my head right off. It was on the ground. It was on the ground. You saw it. It was on the ground. They put the head back on my torso. Doctor said it couldn't be done. Said it couldn't be done. You can't put a head back on the torso, but I'm in amazing shape. I'm in amazing shape. So we can put the head back on because I'm, I'm in great shape. Now my head is bigger, better than ever. I told him I didn't need the head. I can go without. I don't need it. I can win this election without a head. You saw the debates. You don't need a head for this. But no, no, put it back on. I want to show everybody that I'm immortal. I can't be killed. President Lincoln was assassinated because that guy's a loser. That guy is a loser. So that I got Coincidentally, uh, that same weekend, Biden also was almost assassinated by a revolving door. <laughs> See, both sides, guys. I'm fucking jabbing both sides now. Something for everybody, for the whole family. <laughs> I don't have health insurance because I do this shit. That's a funny line, but sad. I've been surviving though, I'm a survivor, man. I've had no health insurance for quite a while, and you know, you gotta make moves, you gotta make it work. I, uh, I do my own checkups. Some of you may need this information. Maybe you need to do your own checkups, you don't have health insurance, here's how you do it. When you're in the shower, search your body for inconsistencies. <laughs> so maybe you like you find a lump right here. Mm. Next step, there better be one on the other side. And if there isn't, you're dying. Go see somebody. <laughs> I have to find ways to get free care sometimes. Like I go to dental schools get my teeth worked on get your teeth fixed are expensive I don't know if you guys know this but these are luxury bones they cost so much more than the other bones although they're the smallest that doesn't make sense so, so I can't afford that shit I go to dental schools they, they'll hook you up for free talk about rolling the dice with your life right <laughs> yeah, man. you haven't lived until you've gotten a root canal from a 22 year old and they make you feel real comfortable by the amount of times they say literally before they operate. They're like, you're gonna literally feel just literally a pinch. It's gonna feel a little pressure, a little literally. This is gonna be like 45 minutes, literally 45, literally 45 minutes, literally. You're in great hands, literally. You literally. Yeah, yeah, you're in great hands, all right, it's great, isn't it? It's awesome as they're drilling you, she's watching a TikTok video. That's what you, that's what you want. I went to the ER without insurance, and uh, if you ever have to do this, I recommend you drive yourself. Because I got a bill for the ambulance ride, and it was $2,000. Now, I know gas is expensive. But this was 1.6 miles to the ER, $2,000. Had I known that, I would have called a limousine. <laughs> I don't get to ride limos very often. You know? I'd be like, let's swing by the liquor store, get some ice, 
pack it with champagne and wait for me five hours. And so I got you for 10 hours, asshole. You wait. For $2,000, I could have hired five strippers to push me there in a wheelchair. What are we doing? It was crazy. When I'm driving on the road, sometimes there's lights, you know? Cops turn on their lights, there's emergencies, right? You got emergencies, you know what to do, right? You're supposed to pull over and stop, let them go, service the emergency, right? You're supposed to be a good citizen, but I just read that 61% of 911 calls aren't real emergencies. So now, instead of stopping, I just slow down 39%. <laughs> I got places to go, man. I mean, chances are this ain't important. <laughs> All right, new joke, you're honest. A little too honest, haha, <laughs> but okay. Yeah. That was like an Instagram post that got four likes. <sighs> I was grocery shopping today. I really wasn't, I just want to tell this joke. I like self-checkout. Anybody like the self-checkout? Yeah. I love self-checkout. It's an opportunity to steal a little bit. <laughs> I don't go crazy, just like one for you, one for me. You know? <laughs> I don't go crazy. She's still trying to get into heaven, you know? <laughs> Some stores don't have checkout and I wish they did because I don't want to deal with people. I don't want to deal with employees. So some stores I wish had checkout. Like one of them is uh, Trader Joe's. Yeah, cause these cheery fucks scare the shit out of me. <laughs> At Trader Joe's. What's going on? Where do they find these people? Burning Man? What the fuck? <laughs> what are the interview questions to get a job at Trader Joe's? Hey, can you grow a man bun and be psychotically friendly all day? <laughs> How do you feel about hugging customers for no reason? You into it? <laughs> You're too much, man. I can't handle it. You ever ask a Trader Joe's employee a question? <laughs> Make sure you got nothing going on that day. <laughs> they got questions for us. <laughs> they want to get to know us a little bit. I asked the Trader Joe's employee a question and he goes, What's your name? What are your goals today? <laughs> I was like, yo, this is a grocery store, right? Did you don't get my name? <laughs> and one of my goals today is to get the fuck out of here without talking to anybody. I'm in sweatpants and Crocs, bro. I can't be making a best friend today. He was insistent, so I'm going to his wedding in November. in there, man. What is going on? It's a safe space, though, Trader Joe's. That's nice. It's a safe space. You always feel safe in there. You're never going to see a story like an employee, like a customer fights a Trader Joe's employee. What you might read is a customer gets sad in a Trader Joe's. The employees form a drum circle. <laughs> and harmony is restored. I think those employees are very high is what's going on. Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know what's up with those cashiers, but what the fuck, man? Have you ever got this much eye contact from a cashier before? And you're like... <laughs> Last time I checked out, she asked me. She goes, "What do you got going on tonight?" I'm like, "What? Isn't it obvious? Pancakes and tequila." I mean, I'm like, Are you hitting on me, Penelope? Because I'm down. <laughs> I'd like free hummus for life. I would. <laughs> then they ask you that question they ask everybody. Did you find everything you were looking for? They say everything at Trader Joe's because, you know, they know that they, they sell, like, pumpkin-flavored tuna and shit, but they got other things for your life over there. What they're really asking you is, uh, did you get some therapy from one of our avocado technicians? <laughs> Did you get your chakras aligned by the shaman in the dairy section? <laughs> Did you 
sign up for our Saturday pickleball league? <laughs> Everything. I feel like saying, why don't you give me a gram of whatever love drug you assholes are on? <laughs> cashews freak me out. That's why I like the Ralph's cashews. I feel comfortable yeah. with the Ralph's. They hate the store. I hate the store. They don't ask me if I found everything I'm looking for. They would rather I find nothing and get the fuck out. <laughs> There's more to this joke, but I, I have to go. It was lovely meeting you, though.